box to be checked is, of course, specimens. This session is definitely going to boost up your scores no matter what. So, keep your back ready to write down. May I invite Dr. Anita Ma'am, our in-house infertility consultant, SMIMS, and Ms. Neha, finally repeat SMIMS to help our customers to weigh his specimens and obstetrics. So now, Ms. Neha, how do you identify the specimen? Um, this specimen is hydrophilus. Okay. Um, uh, there is excess accumulation of serous fluid, and uh, it is uh, basically a edema of fetus. Um, the severity can increase by edema is, in, uh, an edema is invariably a common, and component and it is usually accumulated by plastomagari, plas plasetomagari and hydrophos. So, yes. so uh, then we can see up that uh, present with hydrophos and another classical feature is uh, present over there. Uh, explain the pathology of immune hydrops. Uh, after all, the immune hydrops is uh, unknown, but uh, the immune hydrops results from transplant, transplant syndrome, passage of maternal antibodies that rest of the fetal vessels. That is, this uh, resultant anemia stimulates marrow erythroid hypoplasia and extra mandatory hematoviosis in the spleen and liver. Now this will cause hy portal hypertension and hepatic protein synthesis is lost. So uh, the fetal anemia uh, may raise a central venous pressure. The tissue hypoxia from anemia may also cause increased capillary permeability. So fluid collects in fetal thorax, abnormal cavity and subcutaneous tissue. How has the incidence of this immune hydrox? Uh, because the advent of uh, the anti-immunoglobin okay. and by doctor studies uh, for uh, detection of severe anemia and prompt uh, fetal transfusion if it is necessary. Yes. Is okay. uh, this specimen is uh, gastrocytis. Uh, it is a full thickness abdominal wall which is uh, present to the right side of the umbilical cord insertion. Uh, bowel herniates to the defect into amniotic gravity. The one of the major anomaly uh, more common is uh, fetuses of younger mothers, 18 and maternal age in 20 years. So you, here you can see the intestine herniation uh, and the outside. So now here, uh, unlike one part of the you won't see the, this, it is not covered with sac. So now what are the various ventral wall defects? How do you classify? Uh, gastrocytis, uh, there is a uh, omphalocy and body stock. And if it is associated with anemia, it is not associated with anemia. So, if, uh, in case uh, the child is uh, after delivery, what are the chances of survival for the child? Is it good? Is, uh, the prognosis is good. The chances of survival is good after delivery. Can you move the correct surgery? Next slide. How do, you, how do you identify here? Explain. Um, the specimen is uh, 20 weeks uh, fetus with uh, open uh, neural tube defects. The neural tube defect is uh, caused because of the uh, improper uh, closure of the neural tube at the age of uh, 26 and 28 days. At the embryonic age of 26 and 28 days. Uh, this uh, defect includes anencephaly, myelomanetosy, cephalosy, and other uh, spinal fusion abnormalities. So, uh, like she said, it is due to the defective enclosure. So, you know, I have already told in the class, like uh, you, when the closure, uh, if it occurs, uh, the caudal length will closure uh, by uh, 40 days and the cranial length will closure is happening by 36 days after the last LMP. So, uh, you know that by 6 weeks, the entire closure of the neural tube is uh, done. So, after that, you cannot make any correction. So that is why you have, so how do you, uh, what, can, what has to be done for that? By folic acid supplementation. Okay. And one interesting thing in today, uh, Richard Mann's talk also she told about the importance of folic acid in the antipartum heparin. So I just went and googled and saw in the index channel, folic acid now is having a lot of other benefits. And uh, it is active form of folic acid is, folic and fol folic acid and folate are the inactive forms. Now what is the active form? You all know? What is the active form? No, it's coming as l methyl folate. So that is a more active form. So it is now used in various other things like to prevent anemia. And it is also used to uh, uh, in uh, neural tube defects. And even in preterm birth also it is given. So it is very interesting when Bam has mentioned about it. 
So I decided to go to and this nice. Uh, it has, it is a more strategic and because you know that uh, uh, what are the other sources of folic acid upon your food from where do you get the yeah, green leafy vegetables, legumes, etc. Now what are the various screening methods? The screening methods include uh, matter and alpha mm -hmm. uh, then sonography and uh, these are the findings. And they do uh, serum screening also. Let them uh, handle it. Okay. Then how do you differentiate between anencephaly and acranium? Uh, anencephaly is a uh, uh, devoid of uh, cranium uh, and uh, the telencephalic structures which is below the uh, skull um, and uh, orbits are the same. But in acrania it is also absence of cranium but there will be pro uh, protrusion of the disorganized brain tissue. So, both are the pattern in the same work. Okay. Uh, the trauma, hypothermia, jaundice, hemorrhage. Okay. 
What are the three exposing factors? Uh, there can be epidemiological factors such as uh, age, parity, uh, okay. uh, social economic status, yes. near, uh, area of residence, and uh, areas of literacy, okay. social economic status. Okay. Maternal factors are the previous pregnancy outcome, okay. also the complications such as uh, pre-term pre labor, abortion, or uh, poor accidents, uh, and multiple pregnancy, anemia, diabetes. Okay. Okay. Next is fetal factors such as infections and fungal Next slide. Identify the specimen and explain about the diversity. Uh, 20 meters of uh, 20 weeks with placenta. Uh, the zygosity, uh, there can be two types. One is uh, dizygotic twins and another is monozygotic twins. In uh, dizygotic twins are about 75% of the twins are dizygotic and monozygotic are about only 25%. In dizygotic twins, there are fertilization of two ova with two different swarms ova. So there will be separate chorion, separate placenta, and separate amnion. Um, and this is because of the multiple uh, ovulation happened due to increased level of SSH. Okay. So and uh, monozygotic is because of the splitting of the uh, fertilized ova. And uh, this is most of, most probably monochorionic, monoamnionic. What are the factors affecting the incidence of dizygotic training? The factors uh, for dizygotic training is ethnic group uh, with high rates in Nigeria and increasing uh, maternity age. Family student training, uh, ovulation infection resulting in multiple ovulation, assisted reproductive technology. Okay, good. What are the fetal complications in case of multiple pregnancy? Uh, there can be both antepartum ovulation and uh, interpartum. And uh, in antepartum, uh, prematurely monoamnotic twins, vanishing twin and miscarriage, conjoint twins, congenital abnormalities, uh, fetal growth results. Intermittent is uh, pretty much of the brain and uh, uh, cord prolapse, abruption for the second brain, interlocking. Okay. Then, uh, which is uh, where the mobility is high in uh, dicyclotic or uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, or dicoreonic and uh, monocoreonic. Very good. Okay. Next slide. Uh, uterus after delivery to cause postpartum uh, uterine 
Thank you. 